Trackers of Faith, featuring Duke and Luke, the Barn Brothers, Penny, the cold cracking tech savvy gal who is quick on her feet, Walker, the big hearted handyman who uses his mechanical know how to lend a helping hand, Jenny, the fun loving biblical brains of the operation, and Milton. This super sassy swine has been fitted with the latest in animal communication technology. Join this crew of high-tech heroes as they sow truth, know truth, and grow truth. Tractors of Faith! Hey, Grandpa Woodrow. Whatever happened to Frank? Shouldn't he be here to help us finish out the map? Oh, I wish he could. Frank and I read the Bible together, we prayed together, we met together every week for years and years. One day he got sick and never really recovered. He went to be with Jesus a year or so later. So in some ways he finished the map without me. We have the next best thing though. What do you mean? Well, we have Walker here, don't we? You know, Frank was Walker's grandfather. What? what? I'm sure I've mentioned that along the way. You really haven't. I think we'd remember if you were best friends with our best friend's grandpa. Walker, did you know about this? No way. But it's kind of awesome. Grandpa Frank was one of the most humble and godly people I've ever known. Shame here. He taught me one of the most meaningful lessons of my life. Well, actually, the Lord taught it to him, and he just generously passed it along. Anyway, God really spoke to me through Frank about faith and works. I'd love to hear more if you're willing to share. Of course. Around the time we were doing our flashlight travels, I was having a lot of trouble living out my faith. I wanted to know everything about the Bible and I confused faith with knowledge. But isn't it really important to read the Bible and learn God's word? Surely Frank didn't have anything bad to say about that. Oh, definitely not. Like I said, we read the Bible together all the time, but he challenged me that he wasn't seeing good works in my life that demonstrated my faith. He had me read James 2, 14 through 19. Hey, Jenny, can you pull that up? I sure can. It says, What good is it, my brothers, if someone says he has faith but does not have works? If a brother or sister is poorly clothed and lacking in daily food, and one of you says to them, go in peace, be warmed and filled, without giving them the things they need for the body, what good is that? So also faith by itself, if it does not have works, is dead. But someone will say, you have faith and I have works. Show me your faith apart from your works and I will show you my faith by my works. You believe that God is one, you do well. Even the demons believe and shudder. So good. You see what James is getting at there? It seems like he's saying that when we have real faith in God, we won't be able to help ourselves. We'll always want to do good works as a response to the amazing love of God we experience. Exactly. Frank was gently and kindly showing me that I was getting so caught up in learning about God that I wasn't doing a great job of loving God. And he could tell because he didn't see good works in my life. You're right. That's wise. It's always helpful for me to remember that neither faith nor works would get us anywhere at all without Jesus' death and resurrection. He's the one that restored our relationship to God. Nothing that we've done, faith or works or anything, would have mattered without Jesus. Well, shoot. You're wise just like him. He'd be so proud of you, son. Thanks, Grandpa Woodrow. Can I call you Grandpa Woodrow? I'd be honored. Well, then, thanks, Grandpa Woodrow. That really means a lot to me.